Hello, I've got an unboxing video for you today. This is a classic 1997 Lizardman Slan Mage Priest. The big old froggy wizardy guy there on his stand. Now looking at this I can see immediately there is a difference between this, the current kit in that the current Slan Mage Priest comes on a 50mm base and isn't being lifted up by warriors like that. He's sort of levitating. But that looks like it's something that we can work with. If I uh, drill a hole in the bottom and put him on a 50mm base, I think he'll fit in quite well under the current rules for these. So I'll probably do a little bit of conversion work on this one. Other than that, nice kit. I think this was uh, sculpted by Dave Perry. So one of the kind of classic uh, Games Workshop Citadel sculptors there. And yeah, so let's have a look at what's in the box. Slice open this piece of retro goodness that cost me less than £10. As opposed to the £30 of the current kit. And I think this one's got a nice retro appeal to it. So you can't go wrong with a bit of classic goodness, can you? Well, you can, but... Let's have a look. Wow. Wow, polystyrene, you don't get that anymore. Look at that. Ooh, all that stuff. So you get how to assemble your Citadel Miniatures metal kit. Tips on how to do it, pinning and filling gaps, you'll probably be pinning this beast. Uh, what have we got here? There's another one of those World of Hobby Games brochures. Nice that they used to pull this kind of stuff in. What else have we got in here? There's <clears throat> two cavalry bases, those would be for your service warriors. Now let's look at all the odd little bits that you get. So there's one of the guys. Nice bit of detail on him. Two arms missing on him. Good thing is, if I choose to convert the slant mage priest so he isn't being carried by these guys, I might be able to get some regular Saurus arms and use these for something else. What have we got here? There's the main chap himself. What an ugly little beastie. Quite a hefty piece of metal, actually. <clears throat> Just a solid chunk of dude. So he's got this nice headdress. He's got these kind of boils on him. And he does look very toady. Gross. So that's that. What else have we got in here? There's... Oh. oh there's one of the... Saurus Warrior Weapon Arms Looks about... Oh, there he goes, gone Never to be seen again Except it's there Yeah, looks about the same as the ones you get in the plastic kits Just a metal version of one And here we've got a couple of tusks Presumably to be used on the Slam Mage's throne uh, There's something else in one of these front sections There's this thing looks like probably another Saurus weapon or a fan. And there's another arm. And so there should be one more of those, which will be that one there. So that's pretty awesome. Turning round, we've got our second Saurus dude. Saurus dude number three. And dude number four is there. These nice kind of giant skull bones they've got on top of them there, I like this. Missed a couple bits in there. There's another weapon. 
then you've got these two bits of decoration for the throne. They're pretty awesome. There's the back of the throne where he sits. And presumably the tusks will obviously go into those. That's what he's sitting on. And it looks like there's a small thing in there. I wonder if that's for a flying base. Maybe it is. Maybe I can stick a stem straight into there. And then you've got these Saurus arms, which are the ones which are normally holding up his uh, throne there. But I probably won't be using those if I decide to convert it to fit the modern rules. So there it is, that's what you get in your Slam Mage kit. Lots of nice, well cast pieces. Quite a few small bits. Definitely a kit that you'd want to pin. I can see certain bits falling off very, very easily if you don't pin that. But that's par for the course with any large metal kit. Presumably the new one is fine cast. And there you go, that's the unboxing of the Slam Mage Priest kit from 1997. Thanks for watching, and you'll see this guy again.